day, beautiful fans. Guess what? Today I have an excellent recipe for you. Guess what it is? Beautiful hair recipe. How many times you've seen my hair? My hair looks like Einstein. My hair is very wiry because I am very curly hair from scratch, meaning that I was born with very, very curly hair. So I use no chemicals in my hair. I never color my hair. I'm getting a little bit of gray there, uh, as you can see, uh, but today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful formula for beautiful hair and with ingredients that you can buy pretty much anywhere. So let's get started. Now, everything begins with quality. I believe in quality because quality, you never have to apologize for quality. You know, so the quality will stay long, long, long with you. Um, then, you know, the regret of using low quality products. I don't sell any of these products, so I just wanna show you and share with you what it's like to have beautiful, more beautiful hair than salon style hair, okay? So it starts with really, really good products. And one of the great products that I, that I bought, this one is called Kiehl's Amino Acid Shampoo. It's a little bit expensive. It's about $50 for this big thing, but it is worth it, like $58 to be exact. And then I also have the conditioner, amino acid, okay, conditioner, and it has coconut oil and jojoba oil. It's for all types of hairs. So I don't buy dry, wet, whatever, however greasy your hair is, whatever. This is the best formula in the entire planet. So at the beginning, I bought two of these and I was, I, I always change my shampoo at least every three months because I get dandruff. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try these. They're made in the US, which is fantastic. So you don't have to uh, worry about that. And it's really, really high quality products. Truly, truly, I don't recommend things that easy, but uh, this is one of the things that I recommend. Today I'm also gonna use lavender. Why lavender? Because lavender uh, stops hair thinning my hair was very thin, and every time I went in the shower, clumps of hair would actually fall out. You know, for a strict, for a curly hair person, this is really nice, manageable hair. So anyway, so it stops hair from falling, and it also encourages growth. Um, the next one is cinnamon oil. Cinnamon oil, it actually increases, really, um, it actually, it helps you improve also hair growth, but also increases volume of hair. So we're gonna put the cinnamon oil a little bit of drop. And then the next one that I will use is rose oto oil. Rose oto. So rose is also, is very calming, but it's also being known, I mean, it's a beautiful smell, but it's also been known for like stopping hair falling and even alopecia. So. It smells incredible mm, and it's very expensive. So this is why I put it, I put this one and not the other ones that are even more expensive. So now the next thing that you're going to need is coconut oil. And I always have, this is organic, virgin, uh, cold press, unrefined coconut oil. The next thing that you will use is a fillet of this is aloe vera, okay? So aloe vera is, is gonna make your hair shiny. It is gonna stop also from your hair falling and it will nourish your body. And as you're showering and all of these things are falling through your body, it will also condition your skin. So that's why I don't use chemicals because when you're in your shower, you, especially if you're using hot shower, your pores are going to be open. And so whatever chemicals are in that shampoo, you are going to absorb them. So I'm very, very, very careful. So another thing that you could do if you're using those cheap chemical laden shampoos, you can just stick your head out and just wash your hair. I used to do that when I used to shower with cold water. So head first and then the rest of the body. Okay, so let's get started. Um, First thing that you want to do is fillet the um, I have uh, fillet the the aloe vera. So let's show you here, so you can see. And I also have a blender. So inside the blender, I'm going to put the aloe vera fillet. So what do you do with it? 
cut what you're going to use. So I need enough to fill, to make shampoo for this whole bottle, okay? Because this is an empty one that I had from before. So I bought the small one and then I bought the big one and then it's a little bit, you know, less expensive. You get a little bit more molium for a little less, but it's nonetheless, it's not that cheap. I mean, still expensive. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the little thorns. Okay, and this is beautiful for digestion. We put this, my husband puts this in the, uh, on the smoothie. Okay, you can eat it raw if you like. It's fantastic for your skin. I love everything natural as much as I can. So I'm on a journey just like you too, always looking for better things. And really social media has made it a lot easier for all of us to find secrets. Because you know, the solution to everything that, that and to every problem is out there. Somebody has it. And so we need to connect more with who has the secrets. The secrets to the fountain of youth, the secret to great hair, the secret to, to being more lovely, the secret to being happy every day. All those secrets are out there. You know, the secret to a life living without pain, without regret, they're all out there. Okay, so this thing, you don't throw it away. So what you could do is if you have lizard skin, like sometimes I do in the summertime, you can just take this, and I know it looks like alien stuff, but you'll see the difference. Right now my arms are a little bit dry, so. Alrighty, this is fantastic. And I don't, I don't really use any makeups, except I put lipstick today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This will make your skin amazing. You'll see in a minute. So rather than having Botox, uh, if you wanna tighten your necky necky, instead of having the turkey neck, then we're gonna put the aloe vera, then you can put some on the leg. And so there you go. You used everything of the plant and now you have beautiful skin. Although I might not be able to see. Oh, there you are. Okay, so now we're going to, um, we're going to uh, fillet the, others, the other part. So I don't like to get any, you know, just being careful not to put any of the green because this plant matter and you want also to last. This shampoo lasts me for a month, so every month I'm making this. And also saves you a ton of money because instead of using a whole bottle of shampoo, so it's not really that expensive because instead of using a whole bottle of shampoo, you're only using half and then the other one you're creating yourself with ingredients that are a lot less expensive. So look at this, this is amazing. It's already, my skin's already, I don't need any more so I can just save it uh, for someone else or for later. So now, here's the filet. With this, did you know that you can make suppositories as well? And they're really good for cleaning the colon as well. So you freeze them and you shape them uh, in the form of suppository. Aloe vera is such a healing plant. It burns, third degree burns. That's the only thing that saved um, my son, you know, from really, really bad burns, his third degree burns from the sun. Um, and so I'm very grateful. This is one of the plants that I'm grateful for. And I have so many of them and, and I thank the earth and I thank God that I have them because I, I use so much of it every day, every day. My husband, especially, he, he uses a lot for me. I put it in shampoo, and when I remember, I put it on a smoothie if I take a smoothie, but most of the time I do something else. So, you know, I never waste. Like right now, if I had not done my hair already, I would put it and then blow dry my hair with it. So, so we have here one fillet of aloe vera. Okay. Now, the next step, we're gonna use one cup of coconut oil. So this is organic, cold pressed coconut oil. Okay, 
Okay, one cup. And my cups are very generous. So one cup. And this time I'm gonna be, make a little bit more. So I'm gonna do one cup and a half because I my fillet this time was a little bit more. So one cup and a half of the coconut butter. So coconut butter and coconut oil are the same thing. In the summertime, is it's very it becomes like an oil, especially if your home is very hot. And in the winter time, it becomes a solid. So never put it in the fridge and don't ever contaminate it. You know, it's like if you fry something, don't put it back in there because it will really make your oil rancid. So we never, we never mix the use with the new, okay? So, so far, all right, simple steps. Aloe vera filet, uh, one and a half cups of coconut butter. Now I'm gonna use my, this is like I say, a hair strengthening, uh, stops thinning hair and, and encourages growth. So anything that I'm gonna put in here is for that particular reason. It smells incredible. Here, you smell. Delicious. So I'm gonna add about, that was like about three, about three um, generous drops. Okay, then I'm gonna add my cinnamon oil. I'm going to use, oh, that's so, smell, 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 smell. So delicious. One, two, three. You don't want it too much because otherwise, you know, it'll irritate your eyes. So we definitely do not wanna do that. And then from the rose auto, oh, this is incredible. So let's see if this still has it. I don't know, I'm, it, sometimes it becomes a little gel, I think, at the bottom. No, this one will have it. I can hear it. Well, I guess I'll take this little thingy. Oop, there you go, like three or four. But smells wonderful, believe me, okay? And now this is the same thing that I also use for hand cream as well. Um, at night for moisturizing my skin. So now we take the, the blender. So fillet from the aloe right here, aloe vera. And then we have the coconut oil and now we're going to blend it. So I'll use the little plunger that comes with the, with the blender. <laughs> disappearing act I always do that okay so here we go it's done now what we will do next is we're going to smell so you see how it becomes a liquid okay and when you put it in the fridge looks how it becomes a solid and right now I took this one off the fridge. So this, when I leave it in my, like by my bedside, but look at how, look at how, like even if, when it's cold, I can take that if I keep it in the fridge. I use this, you know, to 
if I need to go out. And so I'll have like a chunk like that and either by my mirror vanity and also by my bedside. So if sometimes if I want to moisturize, but it's such a beautiful smelling. Okay, so you see, you can turn it into little chunks. You can make it into little rounds. I left it into like a big old chunk and then I just cut it into pieces. Or if you, and then it becomes really, really super soft. So it's only good for a month, but smells wonderful. Okay, so the next step, and we take an empty bottle of shampoo from the same shampoo, Kiehl's, so you know that it's the same great quality. And we're gonna use one of these little things, okay? Ah, first we put the shampoo, it's better. Take this out. Okay, and what I'll do is, I'm going to separate this because I want some hand cream again. For now, I'm just gonna put it here. And I'm gonna separate this between my conditioner and the shampoo. From this, I'm gonna do other stuff. So now from here, which is almost a cup and a half, but I'll, whatever it takes. <clears throat> so you put the, uh, this little thing here, and then you take the shampoo. Sometimes it's better if you lift it a bit. <clears throat> so you need at least half. It's okay. So if you lift it, if you lift it above the bottle, it's easy to fill because the shampoo is a little bit thick and it gets stuck. Sometimes you can use like a, you can use a, a chopstick. Oops. There you go, that's good enough. See, as soon as I, I lift my face, then it went away. Okay. So wait, the all, the, it's all there because like I said, you don't wanna waste. So, okay, so that's empty now. Now you take, um, now you take this formula and we're gonna fill up the other half. So see now it's up to here, half, a drip a little bit. Okay, and, and the same thing. Careful not to drop it. So from above, oops. Actually, no, this one's a little bit more liquid. So I can, so I can go a little bit closer to the surface and leave a little bit of room so you can mix. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna show you, so you leave about this much uh, off the top. I'm still gonna drop some of the beauty. I hope you're enjoying the hair. Salon hair without salon prices. Believe me, I did my hair way better than what the salon did this last time. So I'm actually dubious about even cutting my hair anymore because now that I've been using this formula, before I used to be able only to grow my hair here and then split ends, it was horrible. And now my hair is beautiful. Really, I can really tell beautiful because as women, we're never happy with what God gave us. If it's curly hair, you want straight hair. If you have straight hair, you want curly hair, right? Yes. Say yes, because you know it's true. Okay, and then, so the reason why I'm making this shampoo here in this area is because I have a lot of fans that have done this same formula in, on my Facebook Lives at the Happy Cooking Club there, and guess what happened? Then they can't find it. So on YouTube, it's excellent because you can find it. I just tell them what to look for. So now you notice, half of the shampoo, the Kiehl shampoo, and half of my formula right here, which is, remember, we have the aloe vera, the coconut oil, the rose oil, the lavender oil, and the cinnamon oil. So now we just do this. We gently mix it so we don't create too many bubbles. 
because if you create too many bubbles, then it doesn't integrate, okay? So just, you know, be nice if you have a little machine that would do this, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, but just gently, you move it. And by the way, look at the skin, how beautiful. From dry to moist, like truly, it was like, I have lizard skin, so, this cream really helps me a lot without the disgusting prices with disgusting chemicals in them, okay? And so the cream alone is just perfect because it's just coconut oil, lavender, and um, aloe vera. Those, those ingredients you can eat. I don't know about the rose oil if you can eat, but cinnamon oil you can eat. Lavender oil you can eat. I've used it in, in food and I'm still alive. But I did turn purple though. Just kidding. Okay, so the shampoo now is ready to be used. See how beautiful it is? Completely integrated. You just keep it like that in your bathroom, but I don't need to, it doesn't separate. But I always do uh, before I, even in the shower. Actually, I don't even need to shake it. I just take it and I go, psh, take it. And the thing is, you don't need a lot. You just need about like a quarter size and your hair lathers and beautiful and it's easy to comb especially if you have if you have like really curly hair then you know it's easy to comb in the shower and after you blow dry it the coconut oil resists high temperatures i use this i did a blow dry with a big brush and then i used the the hot hot curling aisle at 450 degrees which coconut oil can take it so the next day tomorrow or seven days from now my hair will not be greasy it'll be beautiful and then i can actually will go and shower again and my hair will still very silky and beautiful so i'm going to do the next one is for it's the same thing i shouldn't even have to show you but it's the same thing so i have my my conditioner so i take the big bottle of the conditioner this is a little bit thicker so it'll take a little bit longer and usually i like it when it's when it's um uh, when it's completely out, but normally before I would use two bottles of conditioner to one bottle of shampoo. Some of you out there that have curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. I would just lather, and I mean, I would buy expensive, cheap, whatever, never worked, so until today. So let's put the same thing, go with the conditioner. This way you might need to, you might need to use the tooth, uh, like I said, a chopstick look at these chopsticks got my name they were given to me by the ritz carlton in hong kong yeah amazing it pays quality okay so let's use the the conditioner i wish i had one of those those cameras that you go fast but i have to pay attention because if i don't pay attention then what happened it's an, it, it will be in the counter, guarantee. So actually, I, this one, I can just fill it all the top and then use the, the chopstick. So I'm gonna use about, I'm gonna, oh, it's, it's heavy. <sighs> I was buying before the small ones, but then when I found out that I could save like about $2 on the big one, I know it's not a lot, but when you're buying I buy probably about every every six months now I buy shampoo. And like I say, so now I'm doubling my money. So if that shampoo was $58 and I was using it before without my formula, then I was, you know, I was using $58. But now that that $58 is basically only half of that, that's $25. 27 29 dollars around 29 dollars say 30 bucks so basically i just saved a ton on shampoo see how easy it is once you have it in there with just use a little toothpick or not toothpick a chopstick look at that how fast so i fill it up all the top and rather than dealing with it I just use the chopstick for the thick one, okay? And now, 
So let's cover that up. Oh no, that's from this one. Oh, this is from this. Oh, that's my conditioner. Now what we do is the same thing. And we'll use the liquid. And this one goes easy. That's why I like the, uh, once it's soft, because in the winter time, it's a little bit harder to make it because the coconut oil becomes quite thick. But right now is the perfect timing because it's at the, you know, it's not as cremoso. It's not as creamy. Maybe I'll add a little bit more because I didn't leave enough. So that's why I separate it. There you go, exactly where I want it. And these kind of thing, I like to be precise. So, see? Same thing, half here, half of my formula, half of the Kiehl's formula, and half of my formula. And so, this is a little oldie bottle, but a goodie one. So the same thing. Yeah, this one is broken here because I dropped it, see? But I still use it because it still works. I don't need to go buy another one of this. I might have to later on, but not yet. If I can put a paper towel there, then it's okay. The conditioner is the only one that sometimes it might separate a little bit, but that's okay, just shake it before you use it. It's fantastic and smells really wonderful. Truly, truly wonderful. Imagine the smells of roses and lavender and cinnamon in your shower, huh? You just kind of be refreshed. It would be like revival in your own shower, the, the clearance of the clarity and the love that goes into this. Over 500 megahertz of energy in a smell of roses. Mmm, smells delicious smell. I hope you enjoy it. This is it. I'm done with my shampoo and conditioner formula, strengthening it for a more beautiful you with a more beautiful hair, something that lasts forever, something that you will have. Your hair are your antennas into the world. Look at this hair. If you would only see my hair, how curly it is. So, no more losing your hair, no more clumps of hair into the shower, no more clumps of hair in, in your brushes, only the necessary that break every once in a while, no more like spiky hair like my, my uh, like I say, Einstein hair. So if I really wanna blow dry, I would always have beautiful hair. So thank you for watching. This is your flexitarian friend, Jael Tanti. Until then, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy day. Remember, stay positive. Ciao.